Ugh. Wasp almost bit me. So the last time you and I have seen each other, I was living in a different house. I have since moved away to a different city. Blah, blah, blah. Lots of stuff has happened that you probably don't care about, but you guys do care about this car, so let's get right to it. The last time you guys have seen this car, it had the regular crappy brakes in the back. That is now officially changed. All right, you guys are gonna fucking love this. You ready for this? Look at that badass setup. These are 2019 Audi RS3 calipers. As you can see, they are just ridiculously massive, along with the 370 millimeter front rotor from the Audi TT RS to complement the setup and to avoid any clearance issues. 2020 Audi RS3 wheels, 19 inch front and back. These calipers are just insanely massive. There's very little clearance, even with the 19 inch wheels. They go up and up and up and they stop right at the end of the wheel as well. And the whole rotor and the whole like just assembly fills up the entire wheel, which is a very nice compliment. And same with the back of the car. I went with powder coated red calipers with the factory OEM Volkswagen color along with 280 millimeter rear rotors, which are Brembo's and they are drilled to match the front of the car. Otherwise it would just look stupid if I have the fronts red and the backs just plain stock, you know what I mean? Now you guys are probably wondering, why the hell would I do this to my Jetta? It's not a fucking race car. Well, it's about to be. Now, as you guys know, the Audi RS3 calipers are super, super expensive, so I couldn't have done this setup without Adam from Van City Audi. He hooked me up, listed these for just under a thousand bucks, so I was like, what the hell? Even if they don't fit, I can still resell them. Because I know they fit on the Golf R, 100%. Some guy in the States, he posted a YouTube video. He did the same setup on his Golf R, worked perfectly. I researched and researched and researched, and I wasn't 100% sure if they would fit on the Jetta, especially the Mark VI, because these calipers came off the MQB platform, and my car is not an MQB, so I thought it'd be difficult. So took the stock calipers, compared the bolt pattern of both brackets, and I was like, yep, they're gonna fit, so let's do this like ASAP. I wish I filmed the install, but I was pretty lazy that day, but it basically just bolts right on. You don't need to do a single thing no modifications it just bolts right on so from the time this video uploads next week we are installing the cts boss kit for the mqb platform for the gen 3 tsi motor that is going into the car so we will need a whole lot more stopping power big turbo prep is very important i just want everything to be perfect i don't want any weaknesses in the car so the brakes were probably the first thing that needed to be addressed before putting that new turbo on new setup just looks sweet like like look at that look how ridiculously massive that is like i wish you guys could see this in person these eight piston calipers are ridiculous and I just don't know what to say. So you need Audi RS3 calipers, the 8S model calipers. Number two, you will need the Mark III Audi TT RS front rotors, 370 millimeter in size. You cannot use the Mark II TT RS rotors because the Mark II has a four piston brakes. So if you didn't already know, the RS3 calipers are the same as the TT RS, they just use different rotors. You can't use the Audi RS3 rotors because the Audi RS3 has a different offset on the rotor hat because it has different hubs and wheel bearings. So forget about the Audi RS3 rotors, you can't use them. Number three, you guys will need the mounting brackets for these calipers. So when Adam sold me these calipers, they were already mounted with brackets on them so i didn't need to purchase them separately number four you need the audi rs3 brake lines because your stock ones will not work the thread or the the thread pitch is way different on the jetta than it is on the rs3 so you will need to find and source some audi rs3 factory brake lines or just get the upgraded stainless steel now number five this one is quite optional the dust shields 
So Adam did send me the dust shields, which I did install on the Jetta for these big brakes. You do not need them if you don't plan on driving in the rain that much, but I do. So I did install the Audi RS3 dust shields in the front with my buddy. And uh, what we had to do is slightly cut out parts of the dust shield to fit our hubs because the Audi RS3 hubs are way different and we could not just bolt right on these dust shields. We just had to snip around the part where it meets the hub so that way we could push them in. Otherwise the bolt pattern is the same and all the holes on the dust shields for the bolts to go in, they all line up and that was not a problem. Now, the sixth thing that I was worried about, the master cylinder. I wasn't sure if the stock master cylinder would accommodate these new eight piston calipers when going from one piston to eight piston is quite a difference, but Surprisingly, the master cylinder was just fine in feeding these massive, massive brakes. It worked out just fine. The pedal is nice and firm. There's no sponginess, there's no softness. We bled the brakes and uh, everything was fine. There were no issues. I got a little bit lucky because I got both of these calipers slightly used for just under a thousand dollars Canadian, but they are very expensive if you were going to buy them brand new. They're more like $3,000 a piece, if I'm not mistaken, from the dealer. So your best bet if you're going to do this setup is to find a parts car RS3. So there you guys have it. Big brake kit on the Mark VI Jetta. Welcome back, guys. I'm going to be making some more videos in the next while, especially on that big turbo. So stay tuned for that. But otherwise, there you go. Let me know what you guys have for your own big brakes. If you have performance pads or whatever, just let me know. Let me just know about your builds. I love knowing what you guys do to your builds. So let me know what kind of brakes you guys are running, whether they're powder coated stock or they're just massive Lambo brakes, whatever it is. I love hearing about your builds, guys. So drop it down in the comments. Let me know what you think about this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.